Hi, welcome to implementation of priority queue by using the array data structure. Here, uh, the given data is having 16, 14, 10, etc. 1. Here, the data itself acting as a priority key. So, here data is acting uh, dual role. One is the priority key role and another one is value for the data. Okay. So, now uh, 16 is having the highest priority. So, we are going to insert at the first location, then 14, uh, second highest priority, 10, third highest priority. Likewise, 1 is having the lowest priority. So, we have inserted at the last position. How do we uh, insert this uh, data into the priority queue by using the priority key value? For example, I am going to insert the 15 into this list now so what i have to do i have to check the priority key with the uh, each and every av data available in the uh, priority queue so now initially i will check the 15 with 1 so at that time 15 is having highest priority so we are moving one position ahead the lowest pri priority value so uh, one is having lowest priority so we are moving one position uh, ahead in the uh, uh, given array then 15 is compared with the 3 so 3 is also having lowest priority we are moving ahead like this so here by moving ahead we will make the free space for the uh, new value which is going to be inserted into the priority uh, queue uh, then after creating the free space then uh, this is the right location to insert the data based upon the priority key 15 by comparing the 14 after 14 15 is the highest priority so we got free space and inserted into the right location so here uh, we will start from the nth location we will start from the nth location of the data so by uh, comparison right so uh, since we are making comparison for almost n minus one elements so the uh, time complexity for the insertion in priority queue is order of n we will see the code first i want to insert the data 5 into the empty priority queue right so now this is the array based priority queue so that's why i have given this one so array based priority Q, right so now uh, the data 5 is passing into the uh, method count is as of now empty queue so we are having the zero number of data in the priority queue i am assigning the i value is zero just i am checking is q is full how we, have, we will check the q is full just we are checking the count so uh, count less than or equal to maximum size of the queue size of the queue is 5 right so now count equal to zero yes it is true then if it is true data is assigned into the priority queue of the index value here i value is 0 so we are inserted at the place of 0 the value is now 5 so 5 is inserted at the location uh, 0 so 5 is inserted at the location 0 then i am incrementing the count by 1 so now the count value is 1 so then the uh, condition is over so the we are coming out of the loop so then um, uh, the, uh, then again i am i want to insert 7 so 7 i am going to insert into the queue so 7 is passing here uh, the count is now value 1 count is value now 1 from the uh, from the um, priority queue count is now 1 so now 7 comma 1 is passing into the uh, method so now 1 less than or equal to 5 so uh, q is empty so we can int uh, insert the data so now we are checking count is 1 so 1 equal to 0 is false once it is false so we will get into the false block statement else portion now i value is so in the iteration number 1 count is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so now i value is 0 so i greater than or equal to 0 which is true 0 greater than or equal to 0 is true now we are getting into the if if loop so data so data is here 7 data is here is 7 so 7 greater than priority queue of i what is the i value 
zero. I value is zero. So uh, priority queue of I is five. So five is compared with seven. Seven greater than five is true. If it is true, true block will execute. We are shifting one place ahead. The priority queue of I, priority queue of zero is shifting one place ahead. So priority queue of zero is five. So five is assigned into zero plus one, one. So one in the first index, we are going to write, uh, assign the value five. After shifting, so I is decremented by one. So now I value become uh, minus one. So already I is zero. So now I value become minus one in the second iteration. So now if it is minus one, then minus one greater than or equal to zero. So which is false. So once it is false, then this if, uh, true uh, for loop will not execute. So it will come out of the for loop. So now the data uh, uh, seven is going to assign into the i plus one. What is the i plus one? So I, I will use minus one. So minus one uh, plus one is zero. So priority queue of zero in the zeroth position, I'm going to assign the value seven. So seven is going to assign into the zeroth position. So now count is incremented by one. So already count is one. So now one plus one, it is going to be two. So this is the process to insert the data into the priority queue. Now I want to insert the third data one. So we are passing uh, the value one comma count is now two. So count is now two. Then we are checking Q is full. No, priority Q is having a space because count is two less than or equal to size of the priority Q is five. So here the size of the priority Q is five. So it is not full. It is uh, so it is true. If it is true, it will in come inside the if loop. So here uh, count equal to zero in the count equal to zero, which is false. Uh, here count is two equal to zero, which is false. Once it is false, it will come out of the uh, loop. So okay, it is come out of the uh, it is come out of the loop. So once it is come out of the loop, the else portion is there. In the else portion, uh, uh, we will add here uh, count minus one. So count is two. So two minus one, which is one. Okay, I value is now one. So I value is one. What is the data we are going to insert? One. So one greater than one greater than priority queue of i. So priority queue of one is having the value five. So one greater than five, which is false. Once it is false, true block will not execute, else block will come in the else block, which is breaking the uh, execution. Once it is break uh, applied, then it will come out of the for loop. Then here, uh, priority queue of i plus one, i is now one. So one plus one, which is the two, priority queue of two will be assigned the data value one which is the one we are going to insert into the uh, data uh, insert into the priority queue so one is going to assign into the priority queue of two so two is inserted into the data so now count is incremented by one so this will be three so count is now three so now the data is arranged in a uh, descending order based upon the highest priority so here seven is highest priority value five is second highest Two is third highest. So here we are uh, uh, using a comparison uh, n times. That's why which is taking the order of n is the time complexity uh, for inserting the data into the priority queue. Thanks for watching.